what's going on everybody in today's video we're gonna be talking about why goldberg wwe hall of famer is good for the wwe if you guys are brand new to the channel or this is your first time actually watching one of my videos make sure to leave a comment like and subscribe turn on that bell do all that good stuff and don't forget to acknowledge your tribal chief on this thursday evening but yeah we're gonna be talking about goldberg bill goldberg the legend everybody's favorite wrestler pal on why he is good for the wwe let's get straight into it whether you're one of those that hate goldberg or like goldberg you can always respect that he always gets a reaction people whether you like him or not they care about goldberg they will watch a goldberg match they will pop when goldberg come out if you're there live nobody's gonna be booing goldberg like say if he returns or shows up you know if he returns he's definitely gonna get cheered maybe after a while or you know he's been coming back and winning championships maybe after then they'll boo him but when he first comes back he's always gonna get a good crowd reactions he could get a headline he's still a draw he's 54 years old winning championships and is still a draw in the wwe that's one thing that i respect goldberg for he comes in there does his thing now one thing that i don't get is when people talk about oh why you don't give this younger star a chance why you don't give him a chance look it's cool to give other people chances but we're talking about one of the biggest pay-per-views do you really want to see let's say bobby lashley versus ricochet for the wwe championship the main championship in the wwe do you want to see bobby lashley versus mustafa ali do you want to see bobby lashley versus cesaro versus mansoor versus shinsuke nakamura Versus Sami Zayn. I mean, let's be honest here. WWE is trying to sell out SummerSlam. They're trying to have the biggest matches possible. You already have John Cena versus Roman Reigns. That's the big attraction match. You have one of the WWE's biggest top stars right now. Then you have Seth Rollins versus Edge. Another money match. Now, this one is not more of an attraction match. But for wrestling, it's a big deal. These two have been going at it for seven years. This match is seven years in the making. This is the match people wanted to see when Edge came back. So that match is happening. And now you add another money match between Goldberg and Bobby Lashley. I mean, look at these two. You're telling me if you see somebody like Goldberg or Bobby Lashley, you wouldn't want to see a match between these two. I mean, it's just unbelievable some of the people that, okay, it's good that you don't have to like Goldberg. Not everybody has to like Goldberg. But then you start trashing on the match. Look, the match is not going to be your typical, oh my god, 450 splashes or top rope moves and all that. You know, moonsaults, all that. Super kicks. This is not going to be that type of match. This is a heavyweight championship match. Heavyweights. Goldberg and Bobby Lashley are heavyweights champions. Goldberg is an attraction. People know who Goldberg is. They're going to be like, oh, well, Goldberg is back. Who's going to fight? They look at somebody like Bobby Lashley. They're going to be like, hmm, that guy seems very interesting. That should be a good match. I mean, look at these two. So just look at these two and then compare it to, like, say, he faced somebody like Kofi Kingston. I mean, who else do you want to see Bobby Lashley face? Look, I would love to see Brock Lesnar. Brock Lesnar's in his farm. Just leave him alone. And he'll probably be back for WrestleMania. We're getting the match down the line. Don't worry. Then you want to see him against Drew McIntyre? I don't think nobody wants to see Lashley and Drew McIntyre for at least another two years. We already had it like 10 times just this year. And we're not even almost done with the year. So we already seen that. Done that. We did that. Kofi Kingston. Nobody wants to see Bobby Lashley versus Kofi. We had it on Money in the Bank. We had it at least three times on Monday Night Raw. That's back in the line. Kofi. I don't know what they're going to do with Kofi, but he's definitely not getting it. Who else is there on Monday Night Raw? They got rid of The Fiend. There's no more Braun Strowman. You know, I could think maybe Sheamus. Sheamus is in the U.S. title picture. He's a U.S. champion, so you can't put Sheamus in there. Who else are you going to put except that's like Brock Lesnar? John Cena's already taken another big star to face Bobby Lashley and put him over. It's Goldberg. 
It's just Goldberg. There's no nobody else that right now that could still wrestle. That is somebody like Goldberg. Goldberg could put over Bobby Lashley. This victory for Bobby Lashley would do wonders to his career. Drew McIntyre beat Bobby Lashley. I mean, Drew McIntyre beat Goldberg. I mean, he beat both. Drew McIntyre is beating Bobby Lashley and Goldberg before, but I'm just trying to explain to you guys that win by Drew McIntyre over Goldberg is going to do a lot for Drew McIntyre, which it did. He ended up winning the WWE Championship two times, and now he has it in his legacy that he beat Goldberg. So that definitely impacted Drew McIntyre. And now somebody like Bobby Lashley, who hasn't really had that big W, like he's beating a lot of you know top guys. He's beating Roman Reigns, but he hasn't beating somebody like a Goldberg, you know Brock Lesnar, you know those type of guys like John Cena. So this will be Bobby Lashley's biggest win of maybe his career because you look at somebody like Goldberg he's a legend he's an icon people know who he is like I said so this match is going to be uh, wonders for Bobby Lashley and Goldberg is basically just there to put on a five to ten minute match get the crowd invested hit a couple like four spears maybe a jackhammer you know maybe the, a clothesline you know do some basic moves get the crowd excited Bobby Lashley is going to dominate Goldberg at the end he's probably gonna even make him tap out or pass out with the hurt lock can you imagine Goldberg yes Goldberg tapping out or passing out to the hurt lock I think that's what we're gonna do and if they actually make Goldberg lose by submission that is gonna make even Bobby Lashley a megastar is even gonna put him back on the top like he's gonna be on the top top he is already in the top but he's even gonna be more high on the top if he can make goldberg somebody like a legend like goldberg tap out man that's gonna be very interesting to see what happens at SummerSlam. but for me goldberg is always great for the wwe when he comes back no matter what you're gonna be invested you're gonna be invested in the match now some people are just invested to see if he's actually gonna win but that's the point. He comes back to get you invested in the storyline and in the match. And whether Goldberg loses or wins, you're going to get a reaction out of it. When he came back first to wrestle Brock Lesnar Survivor Series, nobody saw him beating Lesnar in two minutes. It got a big reaction. It made Sports Center. He was even a Sports Center. So it was definitely a big move that they did. It was a talking point for like the rest of the year. When Goldberg came back at age 50 and beat Brock Lesnar, that was doing one of the best works of his career that like he was basically the guy so it was definitely a big win then you have a big talking point he beats kevin owens kevin owens that's like the biggest spotlight he's been in at that time wrestling goldberg he became one of the talking points because goldberg ended up winning the universal championship and then you see when he beat the fiend now i did not like that decision i didn't like the way they went of it but it still created a big talking point and that's what WWE needs, especially with the viewerships going downhill, which is not good. They need talking points. They need to be trending. They need something to catch an eye to the WWE universe or people that just stop watching wrestling. And Goldberg is that guy. He's going to bring you that talking point. Imagine if Goldberg actually beats Bobby Lashley. That's going to be more of a talking point than the whole John Cena Roman Reigns match. Just think about it. That's how big of a reaction and draw Goldberg could be so obviously I'm not saying he should I feel like Goldberg is just there to put on a solid match for Lashley make Lashley look good and put over Bobby Lashley make Lashley this top monster WWE champion that's what I think they should do and I'm pretty sure that's what they're gonna go with but I'm just saying Goldberg is just good for the WWE he knows how to get a reaction he's a draw he looks legit you believe in what he's gonna do and you might not like the guy, but you have to respect his work, what he's done for the WWE. He's definitely put him out there. And Goldberg, I really don't have a problem with Goldberg. I wouldn't mind seeing him back. Maybe next time when he comes back, I don't want to see him straight in the WWE title picture. I feel like they could do something else with Goldberg. But if he's going to put over Bobby Lashley, then it's fine. But I hope you guys did enjoy this video. This was just me talking about the whole Bobby Lashley-Goldberg match why Goldberg is good for wrestling, that Goldberg is going to put over Bobby Lashley, and all those talking points. So if you guys enjoy, make sure to leave a like. As always, subscribe, turn on the bell, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.